Welcome to the jungle of Hero Wars. Today we want to talk about the crazy girl Daredevil. She is a military expert and uses her weapons to shoot her enemies down with no mercy. She shoots sometimes faster than her own shadow. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Wow, very awesome artwork. I think I like it because I'm a man, probably. In the game she looks completely unsexy, especially her bombs. And wow, what a deep insight here. By the way, I found the original text to her green skill. Big better boob. <laughs> Stay focused. Okay, back to the topic. Her strongness comes from her blue skill, fire support. It's the ability to get extra attacks for each allied basic attack behind her. But they have to be successful. It additionally increases her thirst for blood, her physical attack continuously for each critical attack. And of course her strong ultimate with 5 fast attacks. The longer a fight lasts, the stronger she will be. Perfect for the Hydra. And we see immediately her weakness. 15k crit. Wow. She has only about 3000 armor penetration against a high armor enemy really bad. Dorian attacks now the Hydra successfully and his position is behind her. Her fire support skill is triggered and she shoots again. And thanks to her violent ability her damage increases with every crit. If she gets an armor penetration buff then she shows her real power. And Elmir's clones trigger her fire support too. There's no cooldown. The crazy part is for each activation she gets a 10% energy. We see so many hits are flying around, we cannot count them. And already 300k hits. Now 400k. And even 500k. What is a successful attack? Corvus dodges here the first attack of Darkstar. And we see no fire support. Her second attack does damage and the fire support is triggered. If you miss your attack, no fire support. Even attacks on the shield don't trigger her skill. Does it work if Daredevil gets a stun? We see here her skill works fine. Then she gets a stun by Lars. And the attacks of Elmir are successful, but no fire support. Now let's talk about the team setups. Which heroes have good synergies with her? Of course Elmir, the clone warrior, and Dorian are a good and often seen trio. Elmir is a frontline hero with a very unique behavior. He summons clones and with his ultimate he jumps only to the back, provides the armor penetration buff and summons his clones behind Daredevil for a great fire support move, which we have already seen in the Hydra fight. Additionally he stands then in Dorian's aura and can heal himself with his own damage. And of course those many clones are amazing for this scary burst damage. There's also a way to increase their power with a good motivation song. Every crit does now additional 43k pure damage 
and Sebastian reduces the armor of your main problem for about 10,000. Especially in the fight against the armor monster Ziri do we see the greatness of this curse. She has 40,000 armor and the damage is hard reduced, but the pure damage goes through. Almir's 32,000 armor penetration buff plus Sebastian's curse overcome now Ziri's armor completely. Boom! Even the max Ziri is surprised now. We have also another option to support Daredevil with Darkstar. Her position is behind Daredevil and her blue skill creates a shadow of herself, which counts as basic attack too. A nice addition is her green skill. She forces the nearest enemy to fight 5 seconds for you. In this example do we see the wonderful double activation of Daredevil's fire support skill. and the mind control. But against those two tanks is it still a very hard and long way. As long as you can hold your team alive it's okay, but it's only boring. With Elmir was the fight completely different. More interesting. More swoosh and boom. Of course, you can easily combine them. In this example do we see another great usage of Darkstar's control. Corvus is gonna use his ultimate, but Mistress Darkstar doesn't allow it. And you can punish your new slave, finish him off without applying his armor buff. Very great move. The back pushing has also a nice advantage. It exposes sometimes the weaker heroes behind the tank. Avoiding the highest armor hero is always swoosh. My personal favorite is to use Darkstar with Sebastian and Jet. Darkstar has one of the highest armor penetration values. Her sweet arrows are transformed then into heavy missiles. Boom! It's a great and fascinating offensive team. With the option to use an offensive tank like Ishmael or Antvari. Satteries on second position don't like these teams. Or you go completely crazy with Elmi on position 1. But be careful with that glass cannon and use it wisely. An interesting fact of Darkstar's control is the controlled heroes are still using their skills against their teammates. For example, Krista's frozen needles are now completely useless. Now it's time for the counterpart. Let's start with Elmir. He is probably the best supporter for Daredevil and has his position at the front. He has only 156k life, 
Okay, now he has received a health skin, which is good and bad at the same time. His position at the front allows him to get some area damage and without the new skin he drops very fast. Even a 32k hit is more than 20% of his life and stuns him already. It's good for an early jump or... Wow, what a perfect timing between the boosted Kira and Dante's back pushing. That's a disadvantage of his super low life and probably the reason for the new skin. With his fast death, the engine is destroyed. Kira is generally a very good counter to Elmia. His back jump can't rescue him from her. And Dante counters very well Daredevil's fire support. But this perfect back pushing timing depends on your luck. Nevertheless, it helps often to expose Elmia and get the kill. With a new skin, is this tactic not so easy. In this example do we see the problem with Kira. And especially this Kira Sebastian Jet combination is a very good counter to these Daredevil teams. We have here two heroes at the front with armor buffs and a heavy damage output. The perfect mix to beat them. Another interesting counter is our chaotic hero, Zisha. She has a unique ability to counter basic attacks. It's her blue skill, Crimson Mist. She uses her skill very early and all basic attacks miss now. Interesting fact, the attacks of Elmir's clones at the front are not counting as basic attacks. Wow, very stupid. But it works at least if Elmir's clones are at the back. And now her ultimate. To make it short, she attacks the one with the lowest magic defense value, and it's Elmir. Boom! That was Elmir. Together with Lilith could it be that you will accidentally hit the tank, so be careful in this combination. And with Elmir's new skin, you need a little bit extra area damage to kill him. Daredevil in Dorian's aura is sometimes not so easy to kill, but Zisha does here a great job. The next counter is in my opinion very smart. It's Elvenor. His rune of earth is very powerful. It reduces the damage of basic attacks. If the damage goes to zero, then you will see the block text. And together with Astral's skill, the attacks will be split. No fire support, no crits. Awesome. By the way, the value of Alvanos rune scales up with magic attack buffs. An interesting fact is that Daredevil supporter have less life than herself. Okay, now with Elmir's new skin is it a little bit different, but nevertheless it's great to use Orion with Nebula. Without the new skin is Daredevil the third highest life hero in this combo. And Orion shoots his boosted missiles to the three highest life heroes. Daredevil drops fast and uses her ultimate without the penetration buff against Ziri the wall. Little crit and Helios finishes her off. Morgan stops the resurrection and the combo is destroyed. In the brawl I love to use this combination with the Ragni. It's almost scary how fast max heroes can die.
Daredevil in Dorian's aura is sometimes really annoying, but Luther doesn't care. His jump pushes her just out of it. After his rework he jumps very early in the fight and lands between Dorian and Daredevil. And now she's completely vulnerable. Literally a nice move. Last but not least, how to counter the counter. Let's start with Luther's jump. It's very easy with Darkstar. She's already a great addition for Daredevil and her controllability has also the nice side effect to counter Luther. The timing is not perfect but not bad at the same time. He jumps very early and after 4 seconds Darkstar uses her skill and we see a perfect Walk of Shame. This name was unfortunately not my idea. If you have problems with Kira, or more precise, Kira with Sebastian and Jet, then you have better chances with Lian. Her position is behind Daredevil, so you don't lose the additional fire support hit. It feels perhaps not really effective, but you will defuse the most critical situation. And you will win some seconds. These seconds decide sometimes between win or lose. I hope you could enjoy this video and I wish you all the best. Peace.